Hello everyone, my name is Michael and in today's video we will see how we can use Google Maps listing scrapper from Octopars to scrape Google Maps results details like these ones right here for when we search Pizza Hut in London, UK and what we will be doing is scrapping all the details we can see in these boxes right here. We can also see the details that we are scrapping right here. Now, what is Octoparse, you ask? Well, Octoparse is a no code web scrapping tool that makes data extraction as easy as point and click. It supports templates from various use cases, including social media scrapping, Amazon product data extraction, and yes, also Google Maps scrapping. But of course, Octoparse allows you to create your own custom scrapper. You can design your own scrapper in a workflow designer and get everything visualized in the browser. For example, you can tell it, grab the products from that page and then grab that data and you can just point and click and you'll be able to customize it. They also have AI web scrapping assistant and you can just give it the URL and it will guess what data you want to scrape and then you can make configurations on top of that so it can save you a ton of time. This is very easy for data extraction. It also supports proxies and IP rotation, captcha solving, and all other actions like infinite scrolling, drop downs, hover, like everything you can do with code, you can do it with Octoparse as well. This is why it's great. And again, even if you are not a beginner, if you are tired of writing code, this will save a lot of time. Now this is their pricing page and as you will see, they also offer a free plan, which is great. So you can get started, test their services out. And if you are happy with their services, then you can go ahead and upgrade to a paid plan. To get more, more features and of course make sure you use my code 24mk20 to get 20% off of any paid plan you purchase and make sure you also use the link down in the description to sign up and yeah as you'll see they also offer 16% off for the yearly plans now this might seem expensive but if you compare it to hiring a web scrapping developer and to build you a web scrapping tool it will cost a lot more as you will see, there is two separate templates here. One is Google Maps listing scrapper by URLs and the other one is by keyword. Now they are the same thing and they give the same results. The only difference is one of them takes the URL up here and the other one takes the keyword, this part right here. But they do the same thing basically. So yeah, let's click try it. And first of all, we need to install the app. So make sure you click here, install the app. And once you install it, we'll click start and then run with desktop app. Okay, actually we have to provide a URL first. So let's copy this one right here. And as you will see, we can give it up to 1000 parameters or keywords basically or URLs. Let's click start and run with desktop app. And there we go. So as you'll see, after you log in, you'll get a pop-up. Now only run on your device is available, but you can also run it in the cloud for other templates. For now, we'll click under mode. And as you'll see, it's starting to scrape the listings for the URL we provided it. And there you go. So as you'll see, it keeps scrolling down to get all of the listings. And as you'll see, it keeps adding each listing here live as it scrapes them. Now this can run in the background, so you can just minimize that and let it run. And then you can go back to your task list. And as you'll see, it's running right here. You can also stop it and just see all the data you have scraped so far. So we can click all data. We can also click refresh in case and actually, yeah, as you'll see right here, completed. Now, in this case, we only got 60 results, but the scrapper can really scrape all the results you can get. But you can scrape as many as you see in your browser. So if you keep scrolling down and you get 120 results, the scrapper from Octopars will also get 120 results. So whatever you see in your browser, when you copy this link, it will be the same with the scrapper as well. You can scrape all of them. Now let's try one more URL. So you can see we get a lot more results. It really depends on your keyword and also your IP address. 
because it uses your IP address to determine the location. And there you go, as you see, this time we got 120 results, which is great. So let's click again, all data. As you will see, you can click on right here on the bottom right, export data. And as you will see, Octobars gives you a lot of options. You can export it as a file like Excel, CSV, HTML, JSON, or XML. Then you can also export it to a database like Google Sheets, SQL Server, MySQL, or Postgres. And we can also export it to a cloud storage like Google Drive, Dropbox, or Amazon S3. So for example, if you have a shared Google storage with your team and you wanted to export it there, you can just click here, confirm and export it to Google Drive. Or if you have a database and you have a website connected to that, for example, you can also do that. But for now, for demonstration purposes, I'll just export it to a CSV. Click confirm. I'll save it. And then let's click open a file. And there you go. So as you'll see, here's all the results we get, like the keyword, the name, review, rating, price range, category, address. And of course, the very useful stuff like website and telephone number. Now, again, you can also do it with using the keyword template. And in this scenario, instead, we'll provide the, this part right here. So let's paste it. The great thing about the keyword one is that you can select a language. So for example, let's click English and you can select a region for that language. Some of them have multiple regions like Dutch. Well, let's go ahead with English. And yeah, as you'll see, the other English option has also the UK, Canada and Australia. And since we are in the UK, I'll select the United Kingdom. Click start and running with desktop app. And there you go, as you'll see, it does the exact same thing. It goes through the keyword, but as you'll see, we didn't provide a URL, so it searches with that keyword, but then also goes to that region within the map. Because previously, when we provide the URL, right here, it also includes the longitude and latitude for where to get the results from. There we go. Finished. Okay, so let's click export now. And as you'll see, it uses the extension I last selected, so .csv. So let's click open file. And there you go. Now, what are the differences between using Google Places API and Octopus Google Maps Scrapper? Well, both Google Places API and their Google Maps website, which you see right here, only show up to 120 results per search. Now, this is done for a good reason, because if you are searching for a restaurant, for example, there are probably thousands in big cities and you will be getting overlapping pins which will make it a bad experience for the users so google maps only shows like the best restaurants for you maybe the nearest but octopars has a solution for this they use an advanced zooming algorithm and they basically split the area we are searching the results for into multiple places by zooming in and that way they can get way more results than 120 so yeah, this is what makes Octopars different than any other Google Maps scrapper. Now these templates I'm using in this video didn't have that functionality. They only get what results you were seeing in your browser basically. So up, up to 120 results. But also in my next video, the other template that Octopars has created, which can get that many results. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you very much Octopars for sponsoring this video. And yeah, with that said, make sure you hit the link down in the description, get your package and start scrapping.